Today we're doing a couple of different things, but the first is the circuit breakers. Right here inside the circuit breaker box, um, I've already turned off the breakers so I can take the cover off, but these are actually AC breakers. Um, I accidentally ordered the wrong breakers, but when I got them, I just popped them in for the right spacing and everything is kind of temporary. Um, I did finally now receive my DC breakers, so I'm going to pull out the AC breakers, put the DC breakers in. However, with solar panels, they're never really off, and I've got the connections right here from the solar panels, so I need to disconnect the solar panels first. And I'm going to do that by unplugging them using my MC4 connector tool. Now, since the breakers are off, that means that the solar panels are not under load. I can use this tool to disconnect this, but uh, you want to do that when you're not under load. Otherwise, you can get a little spark that can uh, potentially damage the connector. Now that everything's disconnected, I can remove the AC breakers and install the appropriate DC breakers. Next, I'll plug the solar panels back into each other. Turn the circuit breaker on and rotate the solar panels to face the sun. And now with the solar panels in the sun, we've got six amps of current flowing. I finally got smart and realized that since I now have AC power at the solar trailer, when it's hot out, I can just run a fan because it's hot and now I have electricity. The next thing I wanted to do was build a stop for the second side. On the first side, you can see how I have this wood plank going along the bottom. That gives a place for the bottom edge of the solar panels to lock to the trailer when the panels are vertical for transport. I grabbed one of the planks off of the trailer and started cleaning it up with a small belt sander here. I just used a really rough belt to knock the dirt off and I liked the overall look of it when I was done. Next, I needed to strip away the paint where I'd be adding a bracket to hold that plank. The bracket's just a rectangular piece of steel, which I lined up with the plank and put it at about the right spot on the upright. Um, I wasn't able to use a clamp here, though it was a little bit of an awkward angle, so instead I just handheld it while tack welding it. And then I did the full weld on that plate. I put the plank back in place to make sure everything lined up and I could decide where I wanted to mark my holes. I used an auto punch to mark those and then drilled pilot holes with a 1 8 inch bit. Then I used my step drill bit to enlarge the holes and then finished them off to size with a 3 8 drill bit. Then I could slide the plank back, clamp it in place, and drill 3 8 inch holes through the wood for bolts. Then I needed to prime the bare metal and the weld and give it a coat of paint. I built a similar bracket on the back end of the trailer and primed and painted that as well. Once the paint was dry, I installed the plank with 3 8 inch galvanized carriage bolts. I forgot to grab a photo, but it looked just like the plank on the first side did. Next time, we'll get back to designing the swivel on the end of the second set of three panels, uh, doing some improvements over the original version. I hope you like these videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, check us out at 300mpg.org and on Patreon. And until next time, stay charged up.